Okay, here's the deal. We're breaking format uh, for this story because I, I just have to do it. If you, if you know, I fly a lot, and maybe you've heard over the years, I'm obsessed with uh, people uh, and their naked feet on airplanes. I've been on so many flights where people uh, have been walking around with, without their shoes on or putting their shoes, like their feet very close. I just find it so disgusting. Uh, it, and I gotta introduce you to this next person. Uh, this poor person was made to suffer the stuff of my nightmares. Her name is Jessie Char. She thought she hit the jackpot on a JetBlue flight from Los Long Beach, California to her home in San Francisco when she had two open seats next to her, which is the dream on any JetBlue flight. You get the whole road to yourself. But to her horror and mine, frankly, this is what happened next. Take a look at this photo. Yeah, that's right. This little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home, and this little piggy in the seat behind her boarded a JetBlue flight and decided to just let it all hang out, just let those dogs out and let them fly. Joining me now, the poor unfortunate soul who endured this affront to all humanity, Jesse Char. Jesse, thank you for being with us. I have been on a tear about naked feet on flights for years, so when I saw this, I felt your pain and I had to talk to you. What happened? I mean, this, did you even, when did you first notice these feet? So I had intentionally left the armrests on my plane uh, or on, on my row up um, so that I can enjoy my expansive bench in the sky. Um, but shortly after takeoff, I noticed that one of the armrests kind of fell down. I thought it was just um, a gravity situation. <laughs> um, <laughs> but when I looked over, I saw this kind of this uh, serpentine set of toes wiggling out <laughs> from the row behind me. Oh, gross. Yeah. <laughs> so it was oh, one foot first and then the other, both feet at the same time. Oh, it was one foot first just sure. to test the waters of course. and then the next foot um, That's how they do it. after it. Yeah, I, and I, I had to make sure it was safe. I was on a plane once where someone had their feet, they had like the row in at the front of the plane, so they had their feet up on the front so that everybody behind them could see their feet. I've even been on a plane where someone was clipping their toenails. Oh, that's so much worse. <laughs> well, it's, it's bad, but this is so disturbing, especially when you think you have the whole road to yourself, which is the greatest thrill of all on a plane. It was, it was quite a disappointment. <laughs> now, did yes. you say anything to this person? I didn't. I wanted to get a flight attendant because I wanted another human to witness what was happening. <laughs> I mean, I was alone in my row, so like there was nobody around, and I, and I worried that nobody would believe me if I had just told her. Um, I waited for a flight attendant to come, um, but by the time somebody finally came over to me, the feet kind of descended back oh. from whence they came. Oh, okay. So they, they retracted their, their, uh, their hobbit feet. Yes, but not, um, not until after opening and closing the window shutter with their feet. No! Yeah, oh, come yeah. on. I, that, that's... Oh. Really? It's real. It really happened. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, that I know. I mean, that, that you can't make that stuff. That is insane. Now, also, there then there's the dilemma of do you want to touch the? I mean, I don't want to sound like a complete germaphobe, but do you want to then touch those armrests after? No, sure those didn't feet? want to touch them. I just left it down. I was not. Right. Yeah. So at that point, you just gave up the fantasy of having the whole road to yourself. Yes. Wow. What are we going to do about this, Jesse? How are we going to stop this trend? Oh God, I don't know how we're gonna stop it. I mean, I, thousands of people have seen this and have seen the shame that has been brought upon this mystery person. <laughs> but I don't know, just keep your, at least keep your socks on. The socks on That's are fine. Well, Jesse, I'm glad you, you made it through and I'm glad you took the photograph to document this. And uh, you know, next time this happens, just, I don't know, call me and we'll figure out something. Oh, I'll call you, Anderson. All right, Jesse Char, thanks so much. All right, thank you.